reporting live from the stew at 12.30 a.m. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, how are you? My name is Natasha. Go ahead and subscribe because you click this video for a reason. It's kind of sort of fate, so like just subscribe. All right, all right. So today I'm back with a hair video and today I'm working with a new hair company actually, Hermosa Hair. I've never worked with them before so I was a little nervous. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. I've pretty much been working with the same companies in rotation for a while, so I'm very familiar with them. I just try out different textures and different techniques and different styles, but this time we got a whole new everything, okay? So I am going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks in this video, finally trying some new products. I did kind of like, I would say like my signature look, the bust down, you know, um, with the bed head curls. I don't like super tight curls. I like like messy bed head curls and I like my hair to be very soft and when I say soft I like to be able to like flip it over and like go like this and just do anything with it I like my hair to be very free as if it was my own okay I don't like to be restricted to a hairstyle so make sure you guys are checking the information in the description box for the information on this hair it is always linked and listed down below for you guys and if you want to see how I got this hairstyle because definitely my go-to okay you guys it is 12 30 and i'm doing my hair because i have things to do tomorrow so i just decided to do my hair late at night and i just did a little beat because i was feeling cute so if you want to see how i got this hairstyle just keep watching all right guys so let's get started please excuse my crusty dusty wig cap we're gonna get it together so this is the wig that i'm working with today i'm giving you guys a close-up on the wig because i'm gonna show you guys how to make transparent lace match your skin tone how to get some nice bouncy curls all that so transparent lace is basically what it is transparent but as a black girl as a brown girl it ain't that transparent on us we're not transparent we have melanin we're brown but it can still work it just takes a little bit more elbow grease but it does have its pros and its cons so listen here um before i get into that new spray alert okay boom um you guys know i love the even spray but they have they have one now for sensitive skin amazing and we'll talk about that in a second but with transparent lace it is it appears to be wider, but it can be tinted and matched to any skin tone. Also, with transparent lace, a lot of people do not like it because it is a little thicker. It does still melt, but it is not as thin as HD or the clear lace or the Swiss lace. But guess what? It is more durable. So your wig is definitely going to last longer. When you're plucking your wig, you're less likely to get holes in it. I personally don't mind the transparent lace. You just gotta know how to finesse it, okay? So I was actually showing you guys there the hold on the spray. It was pretty bomb. I was like, okay, it's gonna be sensitive, so it's probably a lighter formula. You guys, I had this wig on for three days. Bomb, okay? It, just everything about it. So I'm just applying my wig how I normally do with the spray, blah, 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 the little um, headband and all that. So with this wig, I did have to customize it. I did have to bleach the knots myself and I did have to um, do some plucking. I didn't do anything crazy. I don't like to over pluck my wigs too much. Sometimes I do. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I do. Other times, um, for longevity purposes, I will leave them as is and it's still pretty finessable. As you can see, it's kind of giving scalp. It's, it's a moment all right so I'm just hot combing it and pressing it as flat as I can so that this can lay so it can give because you guys saw at the beginning of the video my hair was laid and then y'all saw the lace I did what I had to do okay I did what I had to do um I just lost my train of thought oh my gosh oh my gosh one moment <laughs> All right, so I'm back and I've gathered my thoughts. So you guys saw I cut my lace off and now I'm just taking my foundation that is my color and I chose this HD skin foundation because it's gonna look good on camera, it's gonna melt, it's gonna give, okay? And I'm taking a fluffy brush. Do not take a dense brush, do not take a big old foundation brush. Take a small fluffy brush and gently 
tap that foundation into the lace. Um, don't do too much product. You're not painting. You're literally just trying to tint the lace. And you guys see how it's melting. It is not melted yet, but the color is matching my skin. So I personally think that you should use a foundation. Um, some people use like a bronzer or something, something darker. Don't use anything lighter. I do not recommend concealer. I personally recommend foundation because it is your skin tone, okay? So now I'm just going to pull out my baby hairs or create a hairline. I really didn't have to do baby hairs for this. I don't know why I did because my baby hairs was not giving. I want to do over, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just pulling it out and then I'm going to spray the lace down. It looks really good. Like, I did what I had to do, okay? And I'm just going to spray the lace down again and put my elastic band down and let it melt down. And when I tell you, baby, it laid down. So now to styling. This has been my favorite product recently. I've had this for a while, but I stopped using it for a while because y'all know I have a bunch of hair products. Um, but this is amazing. It looks like it's too much, but you guys, it is such a light serum. It's not heavy. Once you start brushing it through your hair and put heat to your hair and start styling, it absorbs into the hair follicles so nicely and it makes your hair so soft and so bouncy i highly recommend it. it is a little pricey but you guys see you get a lot of product and it works really really well so now i'm going to style my hair so i didn't mean to cut my bang that short my little my, not a bang but my layers but it ended up working out it really framed my face i always get scared to cut short layers but when i curl my hair it actually looks way better so don't be afraid okay just gets to it gets to layering and chopping it up you see i was like oh my gosh but um it looked really good so i'm going to be doing is curling my hair i just wanted loose bed head curls um and i just used my eap heat i don't know which size i think i use a bigger barrel for curls but that was it but you guys this hair texture is really nice i don't know what kind of hair this is i know it's a body wave but i'm not sure what kind of hair it is um but it is like this silky but texture like imagine like a a silky yaki I don't know if that really exists, but that's what it is. So it held a really nice curl. Like I said, I wore this wig for three days. It held a really nice curl. It curled easily, but it wasn't like super silky and like Barbie-ish. It was a really, really nice texture. So I love this hair. If you are somebody that wants your curls to last, baby, this is going to be it. Because I did not curl my hair at all. I literally wore my hair in like a little bun, put my bonnet on, and that was it. And the next day my hair was still popping. So that's like a big thing for me. I'm learning because I do so many hair videos for you guys to pay attention to detail as far as the hairline, the lace, the actual hair texture, the longevity. I don't want to just push out videos for you guys without giving you guys a tea because you guys are here to see my videos to spend your coin. And I want to make sure that your coins are going to the right place. Okay. So I just went ahead and skipped through the curling part because I do it all the time. I do have a detailed curling and layering video on my channel, so check that out. But I'm just using a wide tooth comb and kind of shaping my curls and seeing how I want it. I definitely wanted like a relaxed and messy bedhead curled kind of look. So the wide tooth comb is the best for that. I do use different combs or brushes for different looks that I want. Um, after this, you guys, I just kind of made sure my hairline was popping, everything was flat. I did skip the baby hair portion because my baby hairs, I just couldn't get it right. But the hairline, you guys, was popping. When I took this band off, do you guys see? Do you guys see? I was so excited. Do you guys see how that looks? It looks so good from the beginning of the lace that I showed you to now. It, and it's not even fully melted because I had to melt it again, baby. But it was looking amazing. So follow these tricks and tips. If you have lace that you think is too white, 
do this and thank me later. So I just kind of, you know, skipped through the baby hairs because eh, it was looking a little struggly. Um, and that was it. I melted it again and kind of brushed through my hair. And that completes the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check out Hermosa Hair. I will leave all the information down in the description box for you below, baby. And I will see you guys in my next video.